Hello and welcome to the channel. Do you want to do a sweet modern L shelf in your closet? Today I'm going to show you how. Today I'm going to be making a thick profile L closet shelf. As I mentioned, to give this a nice square edge, you're going to want to cut it. So I took this and I put it through the table saw so that way I have a nice straight edge on it. You can leave a rounded edge on it if you want. So what I did is I'm going to use these 7 16 dowel rods. And then I drill a hole in, and I'm using a 3 8 drill bit. It's a little tight, but if you wiggle it around, it works out nice. And then you're just going to put, you're going to mark 3 quarters here. And then go ahead and mark where you want the dowel rods. And then these are 2 and a half inches, so I hammered them down to an inch and a quarter. And as you can see, I have all these drilled out, and I lined my shelves up where I wanted them. And I put these marks on it, so it's on this one, and this one, so that way you know which side's your top. And now I'm just going to go ahead and use some regular wood glue and glue them together, and then hammer and ratchet strap them together. Okay, I got that side glued, and then I marked where my board stops, and I'm going to go ahead and do this side. And once you got them started, you can go ahead, brace this on the floor, and then hammer that side. Or the other option is you can strap it and clamp it together with ratchet traps. So I'm going to try the hammer first, and if that doesn't work, then I'm going to use the rest of the ratchet strap. All right, she was a little tight, so I went with the ratchet strap. I got one here, one here, and then I have a board on the front, board on the back. And now you can see with the combination of ratchet traps, and hammer. Rah! Rah! We got it all together. Next, I'm gonna sand this down. The reason I had issues getting it together, my dowels were slightly off, but it didn't affect us too much. We still have an easy area to sand down. So I'm gonna take a 36 inch grip paper on it, on the belt sander, and then go over it with an 80 grit. After you got it sanded, looks pretty good. So you can stand it at this point, but I'm going to paint this one. So the primer I'm gonna be using is the Kills Restoration Interior Primer. And it's kind of like a shellac, but it's not a shellac. So this will stop all the yellowing and it will help these knots go away because if you use regular paint, these will show back up and it will turn yellow. So just go ahead and don't skip this step. And since I want to use the paint to kind of add to the surface, meaning I want it to have a nice thick layer, I'm just going to use a half inch nap roller and then just stretch it out. And then you're just going to want to lay this on pretty thick. As you can see, I still have imperfections in the wood. My plan is after this coat's on, I'm going to go through and fill everything. Our ledger, our, our cleat on the wall will cover up that, so we don't have to worry about that. But any of the other things, I'll just end up filling and patching with drywall mud. All right, so this is the closet that we are going to put the L shelf in. Well, let me show you how... I'm actually hanging this shelf. So what I did is got some one by twos and then I shot it into the studs with a 16 gauge uh, angle trim gun. So I made sure to hit all my studs and get it in there nice and tight. And I used a level, a six foot level and I put a line there, put a line there and there. It's a pretty simple setup and it's relatively quick to do. Yeah. One thing I recommend when you do your L is I put my board on this way and then my other one, I let it run long and then I placed it onto here and then I marked it into the other shelf 
So that way, if it wasn't a perfect 90, it didn't matter. And then that way, when they meet together, they line up nice. And there you have it. Turned out pretty sweet. And when I did, I did one inch uh, rod iron. And then right here is a four by four. And then since these are two by 12 shelves, they don't need any supports besides the cleats. And they turned out pretty nice. Bam.